Hi everyone, Jennifer here. In today's video, I'm going to share the second biggest enemy to homemakers. Welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. Many of you recently saw my video, The Number One Enemy to Homemakers. If you haven't seen it, I will leave it linked below. Today, I will share with you what I believe is number two, the second biggest enemy to homemakers. I've been thinking a lot about homemaking lately. Why with so much technology and so many conveniences, some of us, myself included, still struggle with our homemaking. My revelation in the first video shared what I believe to be the number one enemy to homemakers but that's not where it ends. This issue is quite complex and there are many more enemies. It's important for us to call them out and be aware of them in order to conquer these beasts, these roadblocks that prevent us from living a beautiful life at home. As I've pondered this topic, I truly believe that the number two enemy to homemaking is perfectionism. Perfectionism. Think about it. I'd like to think that I'm not a perfectionist, that that's something other people struggle with. But I believe that most of us struggle with it in some form, whether we acknowledge this or not. Perfectionism. As women, we tend to seek perfection in beauty, whether that is in our decor or in our homemaking, Sometimes we feel if we can't do a project fully and completely, executed perfectly, that we shouldn't even bother. We get defeated before we begin. If we can't do it perfectly, we don't want to do it at all. Perfectionism. This also goes for our decor. We all have a home, a dwelling place that we call our own, but for many people, that home isn't exactly how they would like it to be. It might be that the decor is unsatisfactory. Maybe you dislike your furniture, or maybe you really don't like your bathrooms or kitchen. Perhaps your sofas are a bit run down like mine are. Subconsciously, we do not take care of our homes as well as we should because our homes are not as we want them to be. How I like to combat my perfectionist tendencies is to just focus on the exact task I'm doing and not get ahead of myself. I do that task to the best of my ability, keeping in mind the other tasks that I have to do. And I try to enjoy the process. Perfectionism because we see perfect homes and decor and cleaning routines on social media and suddenly feel bad about what we have. I'll give you an example of perfectionism in my own life. I have this YouTube channel and I have a few followers on Instagram and I'm a published author. Technically, some might call me an influencer so a perfectionist thought might be, someone with my line of work should have nicer furniture and decor. Well, I'm going to show you a few very real things right now, like this, this giant hole in my sofa. We've had it for a while. Yes, I actually can't stitch it together because of the nature of the hole. Fighting past my perfectionist tendencies rather than going into debt to show off a lifestyle that isn't in my budget right now, I'm going to live with what I have. Yes, even the hole in the sofa. As you can see, I have found a creative way to cover it. Because yes, even authors like myself and YouTubers have furniture with rips in it. I think about Madame Chic a lot when this subject comes to mind. As I mentioned in my books, her kitchen and bathroom, for example, were very outdated. So outdated that by American standards, we would be instantly itching to redo them. But she lived with her outdated kitchen and bathroom and thrived with them. She created some of the most delicious meals I've ever had in that outdated kitchen. 
Madame Chic's furniture was antique, and sometimes it was a bit shabby, but she kept her home beautifully. She didn't suffer from comparison and perfectionism. She embraced what she had. Let us not let our perfectionism get in the way of showing our homes the love that they deserve. Rather than comparing our homes to others, we should embrace what we have and love and appreciate it. Yes, upgrade when it's in the budget, but if it's not, love that shabby sofa, that outdated bathroom. Love and scrub and take care of your things, because perfection can be being content with what we have right here and right now. So I hope that this video gives you inspiration to embrace the beauty of everyday life in your home. Seek out the truly lovely things about your home and about your day and be really grateful for what it is that you have. That in itself is perfection.